Well, there's nothing quite like this occasion. Welcome to the UEFA Champions League final. The best two teams in Europe this season preparing to go head-to-head -head for the crowd. This is Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined as always on these big occasions by Stuart Robson. It's Barcelona against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, Derek, it doesn't come any better than this, does it? This has the makings of an absolute classic. These are two brilliant teams, and at the moment, I can't separate them. Stegen stands between the posts. Lionel Messi starts with Neymar in the wide positions. And in attack today, Kylian Mbappe starts alongside Cristiano Ronaldo. And here's how the lineup looks for PSG. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Marco Asensio plays with Julian Draxler on the backs. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And they get the ball rolling in the Champions League final. We're about to find out who will be crowned club kings of Europe. Manuel Ugarte. Look at that. Marco Asensio. Verratti now. Verratti. And still looking for space. unable to keep the ball trying to chisel a chance out of it now just the tackle that was needed Frankie de Jong here's Ronaldo beautifully weighted ball crowd encouraging him to take it on De Jong physically strong and secure on the ball Mbappe he read the situation defensively and did his job Verratti Alfonso Davies Verratti a promising looking attack but comes to nothing in the end Joao Cancelo it's with Joao Cancelo now with Messi Mbappe De Jong trying to make something happen to jump in front and with that they thwarted the opportunity Alfonso Davies 
Manuel Ugarte. Barazzi now. Gonzalo Ramos. Ugarte. Pereira. PSG looking dangerous, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Ramos. That's that. And defensive play to be applauded. Kylian Mbappe. Messi. that was required Ronaldo and Barca moving the ball with purpose but they took care of the situation defensively Gonzalo Ramos Ferreira Asensio now possibilities in the centre Stepping away. Must take the lead here. And they scored! First goal in this season's UEFA Champions League final. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Five minutes have come and gone here at the San Siro. Well, back underway, the ball moving again. Barcelona in front here, but there might still be a few twists and turns before the game is finished. Ferreira. Axler now. Awaited pass. Oh, my God, it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tight thing. It's never in doubt. Rolling again at one all. Mbappe onto De Jong. Ronald Araujo. Neymar. Neymar. Mbappe with it. Lionel Messi. Well, pass after pass. Maybe they can chisel an opportunity. And it's still on. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Marco Barassi. A 
Van Dijk with it. Ramos. Vitor Ferreira. Here is Marco Asensio. And the ball back with Barcelona here. Frankie de Jong. Here's Mbappe. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. to the final half hour Ronaldo on the move and threaded through by Mbappe Mbappe and a goal to put them in front real drama here Saint-Germain from the corner to get right back into the match. them in their tracks De Jong now with Ronaldo using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball good work from PSG to win it back this might be ideal for the counter oh good skill and he's managed to beat his man in behind for him to chase Walker Will he be able to trouble them here? Can he finish? Oh, the goal is a level attack from the closing stages. Who's going to claim the trophy? It's an open question here. Well, here's the replay, and it's a brilliant turn to buy himself that bit of space. And then, of course, the finish. That's a great bit of play in the box. in the middle well goal kick just as it was looking promising
Draxler. Ball retention so important. Manuel Ugarte. It's got to be. Can he finish? Textbook defending inside the box. Frankie de Jong. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is not over, and two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. Well, back underway here, and it's quite simple. Both teams must steal themselves for 30 extra minutes. chance Lionel Messi in the middle spot on with that tackle has the strength to hang on to it well sadly they just couldn't keep possession now the quick counter attack could be on well to keep possession they've given it away on the electronic board showing one additional minute and the first period of extra time comes to an end still level here So the drama continues here. We're into the second period of extra time. Another play it goes, alas. Manuel Ugarte. Now. and PSG pushing forward with options available Verassi that is tackling of the highest order well the counter chance looks very real Barcelona on the attack in the closing moments still level here Ronaldo Walker not given a moment to think about it. Could play it in. Must take the lead here. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Marco Verratti. And PSG moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Fabian return to Hakimi. Can he finish? It was a magical save, it was. And maybe a chance for PSG now from this corner. And that's very confident goalkeeping in not easy circumstances. And it has all come down to this in the Champions League final. A shootout to determine the winners. of any footballer 
Well, he stuttered a bit, but the goal has been given. Can he convert? And he's taken the low road. Beautifully done. And confidently converted. And he steps up to take his penalty. And that is when you need your goalkeeper. Political, as always, in front of goal. Can he keep us cool? Job done from the spot. Oh, a superb save. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Composure is so important under these trying circumstances. Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. It won't be lost on him. What's at stake here? He knows he's got to score. And it's gone in. And just like that, he's come up with the same. It comes down to this. A goal, and they win the game. And there it is. That brings it to a conclusion. And a contrast in emotions. One team joyful, the other absolutely devastating. Well, what drama, what scenes, and what a good finish to this game. It really has been exhilarating. Well, in football, you don't forget these moments in a hurry. Due reward for their persistence and their overall excellence. Well, it really has been engrossing today. Such a tight game, but you have to feel sorry for the losers. They were so close, but yet so far away. And the party moon has enveloped the stadium. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Paris Saint-Germain. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy.